Romney is going to hold a town hall meeting in the villages. That'll be tomorrow, 2:50, in the uh, uh, Colony Cottage Rec Center. There, if you can't make it, we will of course be there. We'll let you know exactly what he says. But there is still a lot of hype around um, one man, as you know, one of the top headlines of FoxNews.com. Christie candidacy would cripple Romney. The Wall Street Journal is expecting to announce that within days if the New Jersey governor is interested in the White House. So joining us to talk about this is a conservative analyst, blogger, Sarah Rumpf. Sarah, always wonderful to talk to you. Um, you know, Governor Christie couldn't have been more clear. Uh, what do I have to do? I have to commit suicide to let you know I'm not running. But why is he running now, perhaps? What's, what's changed? Is it because the current field is uh, so weak? Um, I, I actually don't think that the Republican field is weak, but there's a couple different things going on anytime somebody is talking about running for office. You get advice from a lot of different people, family members, consultants, people in your administration, and there's always a desire in politics to get to the next step and to climb up the ladder. And from the very, very passionate uh, denials from Christie this entire year, as you mentioned, the quote, I, what do I have to do short of suicide to convince mm -hmm. you people I'm not running? Um, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if people in his administration are trying to sell him on the idea of climbing up the ladder because when your boss goes up the ladder you go up too. Yeah but wouldn't that hurt him though if they came back as staunchly as he has said I'm not running would it hurt him down the road to say well you know why'd you flip-flop on that? Um, it, a lot of politicians get into that trap where they delay running and they deny they're running they deny they're running and then they end up running mm -hmm. and it's something that the opponents get to make some noise about for a little bit but, but nobody really cares. It usually doesn't stick very long. Okay. What, what is it about him that makes him so attractive? Because they've been talking about that since he took office. Right. Well, on, on the Republican side, there's a lot of frustration with the current administration and the way that the Obama White House has has run things. Um, there's a lot of concern over the national debt. There's a lot of concern over spending. There's feelings that things are being handled in an unethical manner, like the Solyndra loan. So the fact that Chris Christie has been such an outspoken proponent of his, his policies mm -hmm. in New Jersey and and so outspoken against the unions, I think he taps into a lot of frustration that people are feeling. Uh, you know, Sarah, about 10 seconds, but does he beat Obama if he gets the nomination? Recent polls say no. Um, you know, it, I, Chris Christie has a lot of moderate policies that I'm not sure will catch on with the overall national right. Republican electorate, and I, I'm not entirely sure that he can beat Obama, but I think any of our Republican candidates are, are much, much better than okay. Obama. Okay. Sarah Rump, Sarah, thanks. Great.